Hey there, this is Jeremy bringing you another video from the Practical IT channel. This time around, we're taking a look at some features in Proxmox VE. Let's get this party started. All right, so on your screen, you should be able to see this uh, container I'm working on with Proxmox VE. I've done something a little different with this. I was watching a video by another YouTube creator, which kind of inspired me to play with this. And so the thing we've done differently this time around is I've turned the nesting feature on. I've made this a privileged container. So unprivileged container is set to no. So we're going to go ahead and start this and switch to the console. So this is set up with turnkey Linux core. And so this does have SSH installed by default. And so the login is root and the password is whatever you set during the installation process. And it brings you to the typical turnkey Linux installer. Skip, skip, install. And this will take just a moment. I will fast forward in post and I will see you on the other side. Alrighty, so we are at 74.177. We can hit Control C to get out of this. And so we are gonna go ahead and run updates. Oops, we don't need to use sudo since we're already root. And again, I will fast forward through this in post and I'll see you on the other side. All right, let's go ahead just for good measure and reboot the system. And just like that, we're restarted. And we are up and running. So the reason that I've set this up this time around is I want to do some playing around with Docker. So we are going to go ahead and say apt install docker.io. And just like that, we've got Docker installed. And Docker is in fact running currently. And just for good measure, we're going to say system cuddle enable Docker. And so this will ensure that Docker starts when we restart the container. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and install Portainer. 
So I've copied the code needed to do this. Which is the Docker run code. And all we have to do is hit enter. And we should end up with Portainer installed on our turnkey Linux core, which is on top of our Linux container. So, little uh, complicated there. We do Docker, Docker processes, Docker PS. We can see that Portainer is in fact up and running. And that should be on port 9000. We'll look at our IP address one more time, which is 177. Go to a new tab. And just like that, we've got Portainer up and running. And of course, we have to set our password first. And create our user. and save that and we are going to say manage a local docker environment ensure that you have started retainer container with the following docker flag we'll say connect and just like that, we've got Portainer up and running. Now, the cool thing here, I'm gonna be coming over here and looking at summary, and we are still at a relatively low level of CPU usage, five-ish percent, not quite five-ish percent, using Currently zero, uh, uh, 0 0.14 of four CPUs, 7.10% of two gigs of RAM, and memory usage is so far 153 megabytes is the highest we've got. So, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. In future videos, we are going to take a look at running the Nginx proxy manager on the same Docker instance. And that will open up some new avenues on things we can do with Proxbox. So this is going to be kind of fun and I hope you all will join me on the journey. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. We've got to convince this YouTube algorithm that everybody wants to see more of my stuff, and that gives me incentive to make more videos. So please take a moment like subscribe click that bell icon for notifications and then throw some salt over your shoulder to make sure that uh, uh, you've got just slightly better chances of youtube actually sending those notifications and on that note this is jeremy signing out for practical it until next time happy computing